Law enforcement officers from around the area and the public came to downtown Wong Statue on Tuesday morning. Police officers and members of the public came to honor those officers who had given their all and were killed in the line of duty in Ellis County and around the country. These officers were honored for their service and sacrifice to the community. Members of the DeSoto Police Department Honor Guard were a part of the ceremony and presented and posted the colors. A group of South Texas police officers who are part of the State Memorial Track Across Texas came to Waxhatchee to honor Waxhatchee Police Officer Josh Williams. Williams lost his life last year while responding to a disturbance call when his vehicle was struck by another vehicle. The name of each officer was read aloud to you know, honor their life that was given to protect others in the community. Waxhatchee Police Department, City Marshal John H. Spalding. Dennis Police Department, City Marshal Joseph C. R. Bullard. County Constable's Office, Constable Thomas D. Conger. Ellis County Sheriff's Department, Deputy Sheriff William E. Warren. Ellis County Constable's Office, Constable Thomas Page Godfrey, Jr. Ellis County Sheriff's Department, Deputy Sheriff Jess Claude White. Ellis County Constable's Office, Constable James Ben Wicker. Texas Department of Public Safety, Texas Highway Patrol, Patrolman Travis Rayburn Locker. Ellis County Sheriff's Department, Deputy Sheriff Arthur James Robertson. Midlothian Police Department, Patrolman George William Rayford Jr. Waxhatchee Police Department, Lieutenant Jeffrey Lee Springer. Ferris Police Department, Patrolman Harry Marvin Marty Steinfeld III. Waxhatchee Police Department, Patrolman Joshua Stanley Williams. This concludes the roll call. The ceremony held Tuesday in Waxahachie is in recognition of Police Officer Memorial Day held each year on May 15th that was created by President Kennedy. The Memorial Day is a part of National Police Week which runs from May 12th to May 15th this year. For a full version of the story, pick up a copy of the Waxahachie Daily Light or read it online at walkshedgytx.com. This has been Andrew Branker reporting.